Yves Saint Laurent Wild Live. Today we're going to show you some of my favorite fragrances like this Prada Ocean coming up and I'm going to tell you a few stories about how I used to love Bulgari Aqua Amara and let's start right now. Yves Saint Laurent Y Live Edition is an eau de toilette that lasts eight to ten hours. It does use grapefruit. It's very youthful and energetic and on it it says eau de toilette intense and that's giving me eight to ten hours this is one of my favorite Yves Saint Laurent's for the summertime the price tag of everything in this video is going to be twenty dollars to about eighty to a hundred dollars this one being in the sixty to eighty dollar range the next one is called Rassasi Shagaf Purom Nafayas Al Shagaf is the correct word probably pronounce it wrong now I'm going to do a live test because on the blogs called Fragrantica they say that this beautiful blue musky clean lavender soft fragrance look at that scent sprayer i love it smells like this that's what number one fragrance they say it smells like this is called azara wanted by the way you could probably get away oh man there's no similarities whatsoever to this but azara wanted i would highly recommend for summer cool evenings right around seven when the sun starts to go down and you're at the pool party or wherever you're at and this is Shagap. This thing is ultimately a good signature scent for the summer. Very long lasting, very good projection. Both of these have the same performance, eight hours plus and huge projection. From either one of these, I would select which one do I like better? I like the Azaro, but it could put people off. There's some note in there that gives me some sort of headache. And this one just smells good. It's got like this floral fruity notes coming out of it alongside with a leathery accord. Another fragrance that's very green, citrusy, and has ambroxan this is called aqua amara bulgari aqua amara now when it first came out i used to work at this fragrance store kind of like the perfume manias and i saw this i had five bottles just came in and you know i'm just the salesman and i would spray it and people go oh, i don't like that in reality i loved it i was sitting there spraying it every day and then all of a sudden this guy named j r m y you know that guy he always wears a white clothing or something he started promoting this around 2012 2013 i found it in 2008 9 somewhere on that region and then all of a sudden the fragrance took off and it was cheap 50 bucks now you can still buy it like 80 bucks but i still do recommend it the whole bulgari line that looks like these hockey pucks are awesome they got bulgari aqua bulgari aqua atlantique bulgari aqua amara but today i'm recommending this for you to get as a unique hot fragrance summer fragrance that i found at fragrancex.com this month and another one i found is this one cool water intense it was like thirty dollars it's got the green mandarin orange is what the main thing is green mandarin orange mixed with coconut so you're thinking tropical if you are liking blue sugar or pink sugar do you like sweet fragrances ma'am it's ten hours it's ten dollars here's the most unique one you remember paris hilton how did she get famous anyway was it a video anyway this is called paris hilton for men it came out early 2000s it's just unique it smells very good and you will smell different than everybody else like watermelon and citruses longevity six hours fragrance smell is incredible it's still to this day does anybody know about paris hilton the original black stripe blue bottle comment down below who's watching us today we're gonna shout out to mike jump happy birthday mr jump next fragrance now you might call the fragrance police on me on this one but it's called spice bomb infrared you can only wear it in the winter time because it has beautiful authentic cinnamon notes in it which is true it's a great winter time but here i am it's 88 degrees in the middle of the day are you gonna call the fragrance police on me because i'm wearing spice bomb infrared preferably you would wear this at nighttime but it's a fantastic fragrance that'll get you mega compliments a next one is a white floral with beautiful fruity notes in it and leather it's called la coast blanc another seven hour fragrance that is awesome from the 2011 period then here's one that's called percival this is a niche fragrance by parfums de marley when you go to the nordstrom store or Saks fifth avenue this will run you 200 dollars. or you could buy another fragrance like amber crombie fitch for 80 bucks to smell like this but if you do have the budget totally recommend this person 
first of all, it's a knockout projection, great longevity, and just smells expensive and authentic. And another one is Aqua de Gio Profondo. Now, if you were going to pick one of these or the other, which one would you pick? Comment down below, ma'am, which one would you pick? I would pick this for mass appeal, but if I didn't have any budget and my aunt just gave me 82000 I would take this. That's a joke. The next fragrance, if you have a $20 bill lying around, 1 million percent get Nautica Voyage. It's another controversial fragrance that people say smells like dill pickles or something like that. I don't know. I always get some rude comments, so comment down below if you have a rude comment about this, because I love it when you comment about Nautica Voyage, which gives me eight hours on my skin and huge projection and all compliments. My favorite fragrance of 2023 summer is called Prada Ocean. It doesn't last as long as I would like, but it does last five to seven hours. But if you spray it seven times, you'll get seven to eight hours. It just smells soft. It's got beautiful, like, put chuli in it but it also has this beautiful praline note like a caramel note and it smells awesome if i was to pick anything off this list the number one choice for me would be this or this good luck and watch this video next